Drop a like on this video within the next five seconds for 2K21 to have exciting, vibrant, colorful parks like they used to. I would not risk it, or we'll have the same exact park. Drop a like. Yo, what is up, guys? It's your boy, Badge Plug, and today we have a lot going on in the 2K community with NBA 2K21. We got Pretty Boy Fredo and Agent Zero beefing. We got a new patch for NBA 2K20 this late in the year. Today, we're going to be going over all that, guys. I don't like to waste anyone's time, so make sure to drop a like if you haven't yeah, hit that subscribe button if you're new because I'm going to be plugging you in with all the NBA 2K21 news up until the game comes out. Then I'm going to be helping you with the best jump shots, builds, badges, all that type of stuff. All right, guys. So anyway, if you have not seen what's going on lately with Pretty Boy Fredo and Agent Zero, you probably have not been on social media a lot at all in the past week. Now, what has recently happened, okay, is Pretty Boy Fredo, about two or three weeks ago, I can't say the actual word, but you guys know that we are in a pandemic right now. You know what that virus is i'm not going to say the name starts with ac and anyway he said that he had this virus he posted a video with a phone call it didn't show the number or anything and the person said that he had it right so everyone was like okay you know he's got it and he says he's better now blah 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 so a few weeks come by two or three weeks because he said he posted the video and you guys can check out in my last video my opinion on this because i'm not really going to get into either side on this video i'm just going to explain what happened but you guys see that he posted that video and he deleted it okay so he deleted the video and then two or three weeks later he posted a video on twitter going to new york city and doing a fan meetup he had thousands like literally thousands of people right next to each other during the you know biggest pandemic of most of our lives unless you're like 50 years old or 60 years old but anyway that like i said i'm not gonna put my opinion in this because i don't feel like there's a need to i mean you guys can form your own opinion on how you feel about it so anyway he got called out by a bunch of youtubers like really Fredo, this is what you're going to do during a pandemic. You're going to have all these people standing next to each other when it's, you know, six feet apart, blah, blah, blah. You know, people are getting sick. In your video, you said that if it was up to you, you know, if you have the opportunity, do not, you know, go out. Do not. It's very dangerous. He felt like he was not going to make it through the virus. It was very bad. So why would you hold a fan meetup when you just said that? Now, Agent Zero made a video after Pretty Boy Fredo did a video on his channel and apologized for what he did. He said he was just trying to show love to people in New York because he recently moved there. And Agent Zero was like, no, I'm not buying it. I'm going to pop up the screenshot right here so you guys can see it. You know, the title of the video, he's like, I'm not buying your apology. And it blew up. That was on his second channel. It has over 700,000 views on his second channel. That is very impressive. Anyway, Fredo got very upset, and this is where we're going to get into the recent screenshots, okay? Fredo got upset, and he went to Instagram. He posted a picture of Agent making fun of his weight and said, Yo, whose man's this? Spam Glizzy Gladiator in his chat. This dude, SSH on top. Then he said, I don't promote hate, but when you make 10 Pretty Boy Fredo exposed videos, taking stuff on my brand image and have never met me a day in your life, you deserve consequences. God don't like ugly. So, you know, he posted that. And obviously the 2K community had agents back right away. I haven't seen, literally, I, we haven't got into it yet, but yesterday it blew up on Twitter after Fredo posted his video, which we'll talk about in a second. And basically I didn't see any content creator or anyone backing up Fredo at all. You know, there was his fans backing him up, but a lot of people and tweets were blowing up, Los Polos, Troy Dan, big, huge people in or from the 2k community posting about it backing up agents so then he went on twitter and he posted a dm of telling agent to pull up to new york i got your flight so obviously fredo was not just wanting him to pull up to new york and have a friendly conversation he was trying to fight agent zero over the video he made now in agent's video for those of you wondering who haven't seen it he basically said, like you've seen from the title, that he wasn't buying his apology on saying that he was sorry for going out like that during a pandemic, whether he had it or not. But Agent also said in his video that he thought he faked having it, you know, the virus. And, 
you know in that video he was saying that he faked predator videos and he fakes a bunch of videos and agent doesn't care that he fakes those videos but to do something that he recently just did like that during a pandemic that's where it drew the line or whatever and you know he got upset you know so anyway fredo posts a response video check it out he says agent zero is canceled exposing the truth from this fraud from this fraud is what he put and he tried to cancel agent zero he was saying in the video that one of his fans he tied it to someone tweeting at him on twitter and wishing death on his daughter pretty boy fredo's daughter and agent did not do that now i told you guys i'm not on a side but literally he did not tell anyone to do that he never said anything like that to fredo's you know any to any of his fans or to fredo he didn't make anyone tweet that it was a random person that tweeted that on twitter and fredo took it from there so anyway you know after that the 2k community exploded i could show screenshot after screenshot but people were pretty upset and it even got trending on Twitter and was on Scarce's news video. YouTuber gets called out, Pokemon, Pretty Boy Fredo. So Fredo was in some heat. If you guys didn't see, the video has a 70% like to dislike ratio right here. You are 67 actually. You can see it right next to 23 hours ago. And then after Fredo sent all those people to Agent's video to dislike and you know all that type of stuff, spam up Glizzy Gladiator, it has a 90% like to dislike. Now, a normal good youtuber like to dislike is around 95 okay a lot of like great youtuber like g-man you know whose content is amazing he's around 99 to 100 mine are usually like 97 96 98 somewhere in there it depends on what i say in the video and what opinions i really give out because sometimes people get people get upset you know especially about my opinions on 2k but that's just how i am guys i'm truthful and i want the best for 2k but anyway that was a whole crazy you know beef and it's just, I don't know, Agent Zero hasn't tweeted or anything about it. So we're going to see where it ends. But I honestly, and I don't think anyone thought it would get this far. So now we have to get into the patch because 2K dropped a random patch out of nowhere. We all know 2K is loving the random patch. So they dropped patch 14 the other day for Xbox and PlayStation 4. And they said, added fixes for my team, my career, my player, added various 2K20 crashing issues, addressed audio related issues, frame rate drop and freezing issues, added performance and stability improvements, and other minor bug fixes. You can download it on, you know, PlayStation and Xbox One. So they dropped that right and i don't even know poor boy sin posted this that's the only reason i even got patch notes but once again 2k did not drop an actual patch notes like this was found on the internet or wherever poor boy sin found it but like 2k has to step up next year with the patch notes bro and especially with the other minor bug fixes like we want to know well, I, I don't care what it is we want to know but anyway people were saying that the best jump shots and stuff were patched I haven't played the game yet so I have to test it out let me know in the comment section down below if your uh, jump shot has changed at all but we have a little bit more on the notes I'm not sure if this is for this one or not but this is what it says because it was in the same tweet fix the case where my players were unable to alley-oop dunks even though they met the rating requirement address an issue in my team that was restricting the desired accessory colors from appearing in game for creative customized assets address an issue in my team where the ball would drop unnecessarily slow for some users when utilizing the ball drop mechanic address a rare issue in my team where users reported their collector level would reset to zero after performing a bulk sale of cards so i don't know if you guys are my team you know what that is maybe if you know that problem occurred to you or something like that but anyway we have to get into the last thing because honestly i should have showed the patch notes last because this one was i think more important okay so 2k and this is from peter mc by the way those screenshots that i have were from phantoms he's got a great uh 2k community type of news channel great guy make sure to go subscribe to him phantoms if you guys want to but this is from peter m c he got a survey from 2k lots of 2k customers i guess got this and check it out right here this was a part of the survey it says how often do you visit the neighborhood who do you visit or sorry why do you visit the neighborhood to play park games to play my player nation games to do the daily spin socialize with friends socialize with friends <laughs> what what okay i all right okay maybe you know that's what people do okay my, my bad all right so anyway have you bought a backpack skateboard or other item gated by your my rep what do you think about mascot costumes so basically they're trying to figure out like you know what reasons do you come to the neighborhood you know do you buy this why do you buy it why haven't you bought it blah 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 and this is really funny when we're going to get into the screenshot but let's check out another one right here uh, actually this is the one why have you not bought a vehicle in 2k20 
okay so the other ones were like you know have you bought one have you done this you know why do why you do this and then it says why have you not bought one so vehicles in this game must be not purchased a lot like the bikes and all that type of stuff because i don't see a lot of people riding them anyway you can't you know there's really no reason for them right you can use that really fast run and there's no reason for them but i just thought it was funny that they literally put why have you not bought one versus like you know why didn't you buy this because your rep or whatever in that time they're just like no you haven't bought it why so anyway guys only did three takes on today's video i don't feel like the news videos have to be super professional i don't sit down and have a whole you know this planned out what i'm gonna say i just go straight from how i feel and i reported the news to you guys so if you want very quick into the news straight out videos man make sure to hit that subscribe button i'm going to be plugging you guys in with all the 2k21 news up until the game comes out then i'm going to be helping you with the best jump shots badges you know builds all that type of stuff man it's your boy badge plug you've been plugged in make sure to drop a like if you haven't yet comment down below plug nation if you've made it this far it's your boy badge plug you have been plugged in and i'm out peace